right friends welcome back to learning space good morning new india the first news item is the prime minister uploaded the integrated case management information system integrated case management information system for what purpose this is a litigant can file a case digitally and he can track it on real time basis so digitally filing the case at the same time tracking it on real time basis that is the purpose of this integrated case management information system on the supreme court website so it is the first step towards paperless supreme court right it assumed significance in view of 61000 cases are pending in supreme court around 39 lakh cases are pending in high courts the chief justice also said this system will be extended to all the 24 high courts along with the subordinate courts it is the step in the right direction but the point to note is it must be expedited fast right look into the next one task force on employment data created one task force led by dr arvind panagadiya is created you may have a doubt what is the need for this task force at present data with regard to the employment is not proper labor bureau covers only a few sectors and the methodology is not based on updated panel of survey respondents so there are several loopholes if you look at advanced countries data is available quite frequently and the employment statistics are given due importance in foreign countries and in our country the data with regard to employment is not up to the mark it is not realistic at present only labor bureau is connected with that but labor bureau also is not able to take the entire sectors for calculation so to advise the government with regard to the reliability of employment data this task force is created next one is as per the third advance estimates we are going to see the record output of food grains for 2016 17 you see rice 109 million tons record you see the total food grain production is going to be 273 million tons what was the previous highest previous highest was 265 million tons that was in 2013 14 and now we are going to cross that as per third advance estimates of kharif and rabi put together 273 million tons the record ever production of food grains this rice 109 wheat 97 then coarse cereals 44 million tons coarse cereals 44 million tons pulses 22 million tons so from around 17 million tons right up to 22 million tons it is great achievement as far as pulses is concerned this data please keep in mind the next one is measurement of livability index of cities livability index is going to be launched and this livability index will be first implemented in 140 cities including 53 cities with population of 1 million and above and we have now 53 cities with population of 1 million and above as well as smart cities will also be included so total 140 cities will be selected in the first phase and livability index will look at 15 core parameters and total 79 aspects will be included right so each and every city especially in the first phase 140 cities will have livability index look into the next news item 29th india indonesia coordinated patrol or corpat this coordinated patrol commenced near andaman and nicobar islands and here the important point to notice this exercises are being coordinated twice a year since 2002 near the international maritime boundary line to keep that part of the indian ocean safe and secure not only for commercial shipping but also for international trade so for international trade and commercial shipping to keep indian ocean safe this 
coordinated patrols are being done twice in a year between India and Indonesia which is known as Corpat and recently this was held near Andaman and Nicobar Islands. And let us go ahead. ICJ stays a sentence in Jadhav case and International Court of Justice. This is United Nations Court. India approached ICJ and ICJ stayed the sentence awarded to Kulbhushan Jadhav. And if someone talks about International Court of Justice, International Court of Justice is established as per United Nations Charter and it looks at the disputes between the states which were referred to it and another important organization you should not forget international criminal court both icj and international criminal court are situated in the hague netherlands and this international criminal court has got jurisdiction to prosecute individuals you see the difference international court of justice that looks at the disputes between governments whereas international criminal court looks at individuals for war crimes genocide then crimes against humanity for such type of crimes here the individuals will be brought to book and this was established based on rome statute started in 2002 and most important aspect is India is not member of ICC, right? So, at present there are 124 states which are party to Rome statute. Another important point is during its 14 to 15 years of existence, it brought to book only African countries or nationals. This is one important aspect and several African countries including South Africa have expressed their wish to withdraw from Rome statute. So, please understand difference between ICJ and ICC. Then, El Nino, no El Nino threat to monsoon. What is El Nino? Warming up of waters near Peru and Ecuador coast. Because of warming up of waters near Peru and Ecuador coast, when this thing happens, then the abnormal situation as far as weather is concerned will prevail in certain regions of the world and El Nino it is characterized by the appearance of warm waters near northern Peru and Ecuador and it results in complex climatic changes it results in reversal of wind patterns across Pacific droughts will happen in Australasia whereas unseasonal heavy rains will occur in South America. So, droughts will occur in this region because water is warmed up here and heavy rains will occur here. And look into the next one. This is with regard to Justice Karnam's episode. He was sentenced for six months prison term for contempt of court and he is going to retire next month. This is the episode clearly because of Justice Karnan's attitude and he is to blame himself for this unsavory incident. Look at the next one. Tallest bridge built can withstand blasts and in fact world's tallest railway arch bridge over Chinop river in Jammu is coming up and it has got height of 359 meters, 35 meters taller than Eiffel Tower remaining News item, you can go through it. Look into the next one. De-escalation agreement was reached between Russia, Turkey and Iran last week. And let us hope good days to come for Syria. And Syria, please look into this map. And now, if you look at the three groups, now three countries are associated, out of which one is Iran, the second one is Russia. And these two are primarily supporters of President of Syria, Bashar al-Assad. And if you look at Turkey, Turkey is in fact supporting rebel groups in Syria. And third of course, ISIS. Now, the de-escalation agreement, primarily Syrian government forces supported by Russia will not attack the rebel forces and they will also allow humanitarian assistance to the areas held by rebels because around 2 million people are struck up in rebel-held areas. 
So, this is one good news item if you look at Syria is concerned. Moon rises in South Korea. We are going to deliberate in mini capsule with regard to what is going to happen as Mr. Moon is becoming the president of South Korea. Please look into this map. This is South Korea. Then Supreme Court plans to go paperless. I have already explained about it. Look at the next item. Peace in Palestine. Here Hamas softened its stance. And if you look at Israel map, this is Gaza Strip. This is ruled by Hamas. In fact, Israel is not allowing any supplies to Hamas controlled areas and the primary route is through Egypt. So, through Egypt, Hamas controlled areas are getting their goods and services and now it softened its stance. It is agreeing for 1967 boundary and at the same time, it is also inching away from Muslim Brotherhood because Muslim Brotherhood is a banned in Egypt. Then if you look at multi-drug resistant TB will raise in India, says a new study. What is multi-drug resistant? Please go through this slide. It is the TB that does not respond to at least isoniazid and rifampicin, the two most powerful anti-TB drugs. And XDRTB is extensively drug resistant TB. And it is a severe form of multi-drug resistant TB with additional resistance and to any of the three second line injectables, right? Next one is Apple tops 800 billion dollars in market capitalization. Now it became the first US company to cross this 800 billion dollars in market capitalization. So market capitalization is the number of shares outstanding multiplied by market value broadly I am telling and here the market capitalization of Apple increased because of several reasons. One of the reason is with the share buyback it reduced 21 percent of the shares outstanding. So, please understand share buyback we discussed number of times that can be the potential question in the examinations about share buyback right friends we discussed in brief. And please do not forget, this is just a brief of the news, it is not discussion. So, that is why I am brief in Good Morning New India. So, with this, let us conclude this. Have a nice day. Thank you.